mean, a crown jewel of Gem City once again sold out for the entirety of the season. The visitors come in from Lindenwood University. The Lions in their first season of Division I competition. Let's say we take a look at their starting lineup. They have two of their top five scorers returning from a year ago. We talked about Kevin Caldwell Jr., but we can't forget about Brandon Trimble. Shot 44% from three-point range. Somebody to keep an eye on tonight to see how Trimble goes here at the University of Dayton Arena. Lindenwood led by Kyle Gerdeman. He's in his fourth year, spent seven seasons at Central Michigan back in 2018-19. Finished that season with a 23 and 12 record. As for the Dayton Flyers, this is a young but veteran group. Sounds a little odd to say that, but you look up and down this list and you've got guys that are experienced. There are some injury concerns that we'll talk about, but Kamara, Holmes, Blakeney, Elvis, Charajans, these are guys that they are very excited about and expect big things from tonight. Of course, the man pulling all the strings is Anthony Grant. His sixth season at Dayton, 102 wins, 52 losses in conference. Overall, closing in on 300 wins, 295 in his head coaching career. Dave Sicuti, let's say we take a look at your keys to this one. Okay, Dwight, you know, a, a lot of times you really got to think it through. Lindenwood Lions, obviously the inside presence that Dayton gives this basketball team is going to be a challenge for them. They're going to have to be very careful in terms of how they handle that. We talked to Coach Griffin today. He talked about possession by possession. Don't get hung up on the crowd, the lighting, the scoreboards. Guys, you got to play it one possession at a time. That's going to be important. For the Dayton Flyers, I think they would love to get a good early pace, a fast pace, and some good flow into their offense. I think that's going to be a key for Anthony Grant all season long. And I think the expectation level, we talked about it, Dwight. I think this team really wants to reach a different pinnacle. And it starts tonight. A lot of expectations, but you got to get off to the right start here in your opener here at home. Ranked as high as 24th in the country in the major polls. CBS Sports preseason ranking had Dayton as high as 18. The Athletic did their review of mid-major top 10. The Flyers were number one. But you know, Dwight, when you talk to Anthony Grant and his staff, they don't really care about the polls right now. They're searching for the, some identity with this team. It's early. We'll have to find it out. And here's a good chance tonight. Opening tip. And we are underway. It's brought to you by Premier Health. The Dayton Flyers in their familiar white trimmed in red. It's black with gold for the Lions of Lindenwood. We got an entry pounce, uh, pass on the bounce. And immediately a whistle and a foul. When we talked to Coach Gerdeman today, he talked about his man-to-man -man defense, and he said that's really what they'll try to play most of the game. They mix in a little bit of zone, but more importantly, I think that's what he's trying to develop somewhat of a culture with his program now, transitioning to Division I basketball. Early moments of this season opener. Baseline inbounds, Kamara. Working away above the arc. Elvis, double team in underneath, reverse, shot for three, is good! Shara jumps from Mongolia, makes his present known. You know, he really played well in the exhibition game as well. A true freshman, we'll have a chance to talk about him later, but for a freshman to jump into this lineup with all these veteran players, remarkable. All these freshmen a year ago just won here in 22-23. Shot clock down to one. I'm not sure they realize there's a ball thrown up, but it's well short. And the Flyers will regain possession. Here's a look on the ball reversal right here. Feet set, hands ready. Nothing but that. Head of the key. 
Lakeney. Elvis. And we've got bodies colliding underneath and another whistle. So a couple of early fouls for the visitors. You know, we talked about one of the keys was kind of watching the inside possessions a little bit, Dwight. But more importantly, if the ball goes inside for Dayton and comes back out, you really got to guard on the perimeter. And you can't get a lot of fouls because this team from Lindenwood is not real deep. So that's going to be something to watch. Elvis on the right-handed dribble. Opposite corner, shot for three, count it! Blakeney gets the three, six nothing Flyers, 90 seconds in. And you'll see some pressure, a little run and jump action as well defensively for the Dayton Flyers. They're gonna try to force the action here. They're gonna put a lot of pressure on the perimeter players for the Lions. Lindenwood already preparing a substitution. Not yet two minutes into this one. Caldwell. Burrell, shot for three. That's strong. Hard off the glass, the rim, and the rebound, Kamara. Staying with the game plan here for Dayton. Lob underneath. Deron Holmes with the flush. It's all Flyers in the early going. Lindenwood looking for some offensive rhythm. Had a shot clock violation on their first possession. And threw up a long distance miss the second time down. Quick hands there from Kamara. Out of bounds, baseline inbounds. Yeah, it doesn't get much sweeter than this right here in terms of what you're looking for offensively, but that time you saw a little pressure. We talked about the flow of the game a little bit, Dwight. That's what Dayton's trying to encourage right now with their full court pressure. Let's get this game up and down the floor a little bit. In the half court, man down for Dayton. Full drive. And now we've got a pause. Blakeney looks like he took a knock. Yeah, just a pump in the mouth a little bit there. He's, he's all right. He's ready to go. You know, we talked about the, the starting five, but let's take one look here. There's a little bit of a little rainbow pass. The big fella, Deron Holmes, finishing it off. I started to say I really like Anthony Grant in terms of what he's got on the bench as well. He'll, he'll come with seven, eight, sometimes nine players. Elvis reverses. Back out top. A oh, lovely pass underneath. And Holmes takes care of the rest. Well, everything this team was built to do, they've done so far. They've been shooting well from the outside. They've gotten big man underneath involved. And they've jumped out to an eight point advantage. Well, they're off to a smooth start. Lindenwood, on the other hand, is just trying to find some kind of offensive rhythm, but the pressure right now that the Flyers are putting on them in the half-court defense, we're going to see a few of these tonight, but here's a strong finish. Here's your preseason pick. All oh, Atlantic 10. Five in the shot clock. Three is up, and the three is good for Kevin Caldwell, Jr., you talked about him at the top of the broadcast. This is a score. Yep, he's going to have to do that. And we talked about assuming some leadership role as well. But how about the big fella, the freshman from Mongolia, taking it strong to the basket? Char jumps, five points. Sixteen minutes to play. We are in the early going here, and we've got a foul. And a timeout. So Dayton Flyers have come out red hot. They've hit all five of their field goal attempts, a couple from three point range. They got a couple of dunks. That's the inside outside. Lindenwood just trying to find their stride with 15.58 to go in the opening half. Dayton leads. Here's another look at Holmes. He uses two hands to deposit that one. The Flyers lead.
Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Hurry in to get our best deals of the season. Get in and get away. Get 0% APR financing plus zero payments for 90 days on select vehicles. Now, during the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. There are all kinds of products in this world. Things that make life easier or more fun. But New York Life's product is different. It's 12,000 experts whose responsibility is to be there, to guide you through the happiest and most difficult times. People who know the most valuable things in life aren't things at all. This is our product. This is what we do. Since I was little, I wanted to be a part of a team. I've played just about every sport there is growing up. My mom's been there for me through every season. We'll get him next time. Mostly to keep me fueled and cheer me on. Thanks, Mom. Love you. Love you too. It took me a minute, but I finally found what I love. All thanks to her. You're always there for them, and we're always here for you. Food Lion, here for every moment. Feels like a change is coming. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Hurry in to get our best deals of the season. Get in and get away. Get 0% APR financing plus zero payments for 90 days on select vehicles. Now, during the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. There are all kinds of products in this world. Things that make life easier or more fun. But New York Life's product is different. It's 12,000 experts whose responsibility is to be there to guide you through the news app will provide you all the information you need before you vote including your polling location a preview of your ballot and the candidate's stances on the issues in your community just scan the qr code to find all the essential voting resources you need before casting your ballot so a big day tomorrow but the early returns here are Dayton Flyers looking pretty good, mm -hmm. haven't missed a shot yet, and playing hard defensively. You know, the one thing that I, I kind of look back last year in terms of what they did from the three-point area, Dwight, you know, and they shot close to 36% from the three, which is really a pretty average number, and I think Anthony Grant would love to see that percentage jump up a little bit. Most opponents only shot 32%, which really is good, but uh, they're going to go inside, but they got that outside shooting as well. Inside 16 minutes to play, lob underneath, a little reverse doesn't go, but kept alive and then out of bounds. Possession to Lindenwood. Charjamps is showing some stuff. Can move on the dribble, can shoot from outside. Excited about this young man. His father was a Harlem Globetrotter. Good pressure here for the Dayton Flyers, denying entry passes. Good pressure on the basketball. It's a good look from the corner. That one isn't going to fall for Childs. But one of the best looks they've had, the Lions. Elvis to the corner. Pump fake, driving. Blake Nee won't go, and a turnover. So a couple of misses after hitting their first five shots, the Dayton Flyers. Seven-point advantage for Dayton. They came out white hot. Good defensive pressure. Ball is nearly lost right in front of the flyer bench. Shot clock at five. Once again, they're going to have to work hard to get something up. Mm -hmm. But it's taken and finished well by Childs. Yeah, Childs, a senior out of the Bronx. A junior college player. You see that a lot on most rosters right now. The transfer portal, and then you got the junior college route. A lot of teams are kind of building up from those two areas. Some sloppy play at both ends. Dayton into their half-court offense. Shot is up. It won't go. Tapped away. In underneath. Again a miss. So suddenly it's as if there's a lid on the basket for Dayton. Up, 
Well, good action on the inside there for the Dayton Flyers. Deron Holmes, the sophomore, 6'10", 231 pounds. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of professional scouts during the course of the season. They're going to make their way to Dayton, Ohio, and also visiting sites just to try to figure out what this young man might do at the end of the season. I know it's only the opener here tonight for us here, Dwight, but uh, got to be uh, real about him because he's got a chance to play at the highest level. He was first among freshmen nationally in dunks with 81. That placed him sixth overall a year ago. Now, free throw shooting was not kind to the Dayton Flyers last season. It's an area they've really emphasized thus far in preseason, and it looks to have paid early dividends for Duran Holmes. Full court pressure and a turnover. Kamara to Holmes. 14 minutes to play here in the half. Rule was checked into the Flyers. Seeing Dwight Linderman trying to kind of crush that situation by double teaming in the post, but good ball reversal here for Dayton. Holmes, pretty good look from the corner. Just short on the three point effort. Here's that full court pressure. Again, trying to wear down Lyndon Wood. Not a deep bench for Coach Durdeman, but he will have to make sure that he gets some of these players a rest. Lob in underneath. Some room to work. Denied. Back into the half court set. Ewell out, head of the key. What a family tradition the Yules are in Dayton basketball. Lob underneath and a nice little fingertip roll. Kamara with the finish. Williams. One and done. Yule out on the left. Slows things down. Shot for three, not this time. Omsiel comes in from behind and is called for the foul. Well, the one thing for Lindenwood is not being able to push the ball up and down the floor. They haven't gotten any easy baskets. Everything is forced into the action of the half court, Dwight. So, you know, you're going to have to make some shots. You're going to have to get some dribble penetration. Uh, and there you can take a look right there, Dwight, uh, the reclassification. And we talked about Lindenwood making their transition into Division I basketball. And it's something you have to experience. You can look at it on paper. You can watch te games on television. But until you're out on the court, you don't really understand the difference. And they're finding out very quickly. Though they're holding their own, they certainly aren't getting blown away. But they're struggling every time in the front court. A little runner won't go. Tapped about a couple of times and then the ball hits the baseline. And to add to your point, Dwight, you think about what Lindenwood is facing tonight. There's probably not another team in the country when you walk on the court in terms of their speed, in terms of Dayton's athletic ability. Those are things, boy, all of a sudden your eyes are wide open right now if you're the Lions, but uh, this is how you build your program. We've got to look at Missouri here in a couple weeks, so they're going to chew off some tough opponents here. The kids are going to learn. It's early in the season. From the corner, in and out, and there's a push. Well, there's a little push out on the pass right there. A little pressure, probably got him afterwards just with his left arm there, just kind of pushing him out of bounds. Not this time after making the first couple of free throws. It's the first flyer miss. You mentioned free throw shooting as something that the, the flyers are gonna have to continue to work on. I think the other area that has concerns for Anthony Grant uh, was the turnovers last year yeah. in critical times. You know, they got off to a kind of a struggle start last year, but boy, they roared to a strong finish, obviously. Yeah. But uh, the turnover thing uh, bothers every head coach at every level. 
But more importantly, when you're playing in the Atlantic 10, you've got to really value the possession of the basketball. So a couple of free throws go down. Yeah, and to your point, you take the month of November out of last season for the Dayton Flyers and then look at their record. Double team. Good effort to find the way out. Childs. Step inside the midcourt line. Goes yeah. to the left side of the lane. Cross court pass. Shot for three is in and out. Gokeji got the rebound. Zimmy checked in. Yule is now out. Amseal on the ball. Unfortunate there. The entry pass a little low. Went off the legs, went out of bounds. So the Dayton Flyers, not quite as crisp over the last several minutes as they were when the half opened. But nonetheless, they are gradually widening their advantage over Lindenwood, the first time Division I team. The Lions trail, 18-7. You're ready to bring it on game day. Regions is right there with you. Regions, official bank of the SEC. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Hurry in to get our best deals of the season. Get in and get away. Get 0% APR financing plus zero payments for 90 days on select vehicles. Now, during the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. back and it's still six dollars get the big box y'all love today love that chicken from Popeyes. what makes burt's bee sensitive skincare different our formula is crafted with calming aloe and soothing rice milk to help restore your skin's moisture barrier for stronger less sensitive skin seriously good stuff burt's bees this friday the blood Forever. Reserve your tickets now. Ready PG-13. Did you think you could relax? That you'd seen everything there was to see? Or have you realized you can't look away and that the game has never been better? That is hockey. And we are back taking a look at the Atlantic 10 Conference preseason poll. And the Dayton Flyers with St. Louis nipping at their heels, but this is always a tough conference. Richmond can jump up and, and get you. Um, Archie Miller's back into the Atlantic 10, so there's some good coaches, so there's some good teams, and it's going to be a heck of a winter. Well, two things when I think about the Atlantic 10. Number one is when you go on the road, you better buckle up because there are going to be some tough environments you got to go to. Frank Martin now is at UMass, a wonderful coach there. Bob McKillick's son has taken over at Davidson. And then, of course, Archie Miller's at Richmond. So there's some new coaches, but I think it's added to the, the flavor of this conference, adding those new coaches to the mix. It'll be uh, interesting to see when Archie Miller comes into the University of Dayton Arena, given the success that he had. Yep. I mean, arguably the greatest run in program history. All right, 18-7. Not yet quite to the midpoint of the opening half. Childs doing a lot of the work right now for Lindenwood. Where Blakeney has him turn around. That's a tough shot and it comes up short. Wide open. Unable to convert on seal. And it's worth mentioning Caldwell, who we featured in the opener a little bit. He's on the bench with two fouls, so. You know, he's going to have to sit and watch here for a little bit. Yeah, there's a foul right there, a little push. 
You know, Dwight, you mentioned Trimble, excellent shooter. But in the shoot around the day, we noticed one thing. Anthony Grant was very aware of that as well. And they're going to make sure they got him covered. They are going to make sure they pressure him and keep a physical game on him because as an excellent shooter, you let him get his feet set, he can knock those shots down. Where exits, Caldwell returns. 10.40 to go in the first half. After making their first two three-point attempts, the Flyers are 0 for the last four. Through traffic, Elvis into the lane, got it. Elvis. Elvis is definitely in the building. A little mismatch there, miscommunication from the Lions, and there's Caldwell taking it strong to the basket. I know there was a block, but that's what you got to be able to do offensively if you're the Lions right now. You got to make some penetration, maybe pitch it out as well, but those are the offensive possessions that you're really going to have to execute in. Lyndon Woodstuck in an 8-0 flyer run over the last four minutes. Zimmy Mukherjee with the block. Kamara in off the glass. That's a nice touch. Nice move there. Cole converts to keep the Lions in shouting distance and ending that run of eight straight for the home team. Blakeney, why not? Not this time, and we've got a foul. Looks like Cole. That's been part of the problem for Lindenwood, the, the fouls here, right? They're, they're adding up right now. There's your officials, Andy O'Brien, Chase Baden, and Johnny Gleich. I think Coach Gerdeman thought that foul was going against the Dayton Flyers, but uh, here we go, we're at the free throw line here. So he's having a little conversation over there on the sideline. I'm sure it's not trying to find out what was for lunch. It was uh, more, let's, let's find out what's going on here with these calls. But it, uh, the size factor really plays a big difference in terms of what you're trying to do if you're Lindenwood. You've got to try to keep them off the board, and sometimes you've got to get a little pushy-shovey in there, and that's what happened that time. Well, that's the third personal for Cole here in the first half. Tom Seal converts. Charjons returns and Amsil will get a break. So here's that pressure again from the Flyers. Trying to clear out here for Caldwell. But what it's doing, Dwight, it's eating up some of the shot clock. So by the time they get down here and get settled in, there's only 15 to 20 seconds remaining in that shot clock. And now you got to almost force the action offensively. Charjons didn't know what he did on the foul. Yeah, but maybe that conversation we had on the sideline <laughs> over there might have paid a little dividend. Burrell <laughs> yes. on the wing. Caldwell, right-handed dribble. Seven on the shot clock. Little pull-up, back iron. Charjons shows that uh, he can hit the glass as well. Holmes. Back out to Elvis. Pump fakes, drives, loses the dribble, picks the ball up, and lays it in. Well, that's where he's good. Penetrating, get into the basket, and he's strong enough player that he can finish at the basket as well. Little handsy. Blakeney called, third team foul. We're inside the nine minute mark, the opening half. Coach Gerdeman continuing the dialogue. Well, you mentioned he spent seven years at Central Michigan working for Keno Davis, an outstanding coach there at uh, Central Michigan, but uh, Kyle's got good experience. He'll, uh, he'll get this program rolling. It's just going to be a matter of time. Playing in the Ohio Valley Conference, there's some very difficult matchups that he's got to face here late in December and then January and February. 
Holmes gets an explanation for what he did to result in a foul. Yeah, I mentioned during his time at Central Michigan, they had one particularly good season. Off the glass, little tip on the putback won't go. Elvis had his eyes up looking to see if he could get a break on. This time he's just going to stop, mm. shoot, and drop right through. Now the redshirt sophomore, the ability to stop on a dime and take it up and knock down the shot. Shot is going to come up well short. Inside eight minutes to play. This one rattles, won't drop for Elvis. 26 to nine. We mentioned possession by possession here for Lindenwood. No matter what the score, if you're down 20, or closer, kind of cut the gap, but every possession is important. You're executing, trying to figure out how we're going to continue to be a good offensive team. And that's, uh, you know, you may not win this game, but you're trying to work on things that are important down the stretch. Oh, that's a heck of a shot. Caldwell Jr. drives, little reverse. Quickly returned at the other, and Kobe Elvis. Well, Elvis and has done a good job getting himself involved in this offensive. Yeah, 7-17, seven, the time remaining here in the first half. Dayton slowly but surely expanding their advantage over the Lions of Lindenwood. 28-11. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Hurry in to get our best deals of the season. Get in and get away. Get 0% APR financing plus zero payments for 90 days on select vehicles. Now, during the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. It's big, it's back, and it's still $6. Get the big box y'all love today. Love that chicken from Popeyes. Dry cracked lips. Burt's Bees Lip Balm moisturizes for eight hours. Made with responsibly sourced beeswax. For a difference you can feel. Swipe after swipe. Seriously good stuff from the naturally loved lip care brand, Bird's Bees. This Friday. Tickets now. Ready PG-13. Just a pea-sized amount of Lumi applied between your butt cheeks like this. I will demonstrate. Just kidding, I won't. Like this. We put Lumi to the test and compared it to a shower. 12 hours after a shower with soap and water, the average crotch has an odor score of five to six out of 10. 12 hours after a shower and applying Lumi, you're at a zero out of 10, no odor all day. I'm not a mathematician, but I think it means that Lumi is infinitely more effective than a shower alone. So just take a shower or shower with Lumi and be zero out of 10. It's Walmart's Black Friday deals for days. Every Monday, huge deals will go live. Join Walmart Plus and you can shop online seven hours early. So the only question is, is it Monday yet? That's Walmart's Black Friday deals for days. Feels like a change is coming. As the saying goes, there's no place like home for the Dayton Flyers. That point is quite clear. 17 consecutive wins in their home opener. 5-0 under Coach Grant and haven't lost since the 0405 season. That was to Eastern Kentucky. This place is filled to the brim, sold out as UD Arena for the entire season again. You know, I always tell people when I'm doing these games, I say, you won't believe the atmosphere that you get here at University of Dayton Arena. It's unbelievable. And the, the fan support, not just from the student section, of course, but just the whole community gives it such a flavor in here. You just, it's such a, just a nice atmosphere. As a player, you gotta love it, but just as a regular fan and a broadcast team like us, really special. <laughs> 
it's fun to be here, no question about it. Out of the timeout, got to go the full length of the court, able to inbound. Now the double team comes for Dayton. Childs beats the pressure into the front court. Down on the shot clock, head of the key, shot for three, front iron, glass won't go. Very good patience offensively for the Dayton Flyers. They've gotten great looks, good penetration. Kobe Ev Elvis has really played well here in the last four or five minutes. Oh, Holmes worked his way in, but then couldn't get the short shot to fall. Now that's a set play coming in off the bench from Anthony Grant. They were going to go inside, got a good look at it, just didn't get it to go. Caldwell. Burrell. A lot of switching on the perimeter here for Dayton, really making it tough on the Lions. Childs did it right for himself in tough quarters. Twenty-eight, thirteen. Dayton has led throughout. Overall shooting, just a tick under fifty-three percent from the field, but have hit fewer than thirty percent of their three-point shot attempts after making their first two. In traffic, Elvis, unbalanced shot, and it's wide, but he is fouled. Elvis is just a tough guard in terms of trying to defensively when I say that, just trying to keep him in front of you. He's got good speed, good acceleration. He can really get to the basket in a hurry. You can see just a little hesitation dribble. There's the foul, but he's just hard to guard, so you gotta try to keep your shoulders squared up on him, but that's uh, easier said than done. There's a good look at the red shirt sophomore out of Brampton, Ontario. A DePaul transfer, played a lot of games up there. Elvis can't get it to drop. Six of nine now, Dayton in free throws. Lob in underneath, tapped away. Quickly played forward. Elvis on the break, got Holmes to his right, lobbed it up, hoping for the jam. Holmes can't get to the hoop and he'll drive into the corner. Now works his way back to the edge of the lane. And ball is kicked. A real nice job for the Lions getting back defensively in transition. Dayton had a three on two there and uh, good effort at making sure everybody got back to floor, got matched up really well. 20 seconds remaining here on the shot clock for the Dayton Flyers. Inside pass, but tied up was Holmes. And that's a foul. Team's ninth first half foul. And I think that goes back in part to what you were talking about, the, the speed at which the Flyers can play. And you just start grabbing and pushing and whatever you can do to try and slow them down. Another missed free throw. Holmes gets the rebound, puts up the short shot, won't go. Gets it again, reverse, that won't go. Well, it's not for a lack of effort. Absolutely. You're never going to fault that. Lions are still just kind of hanging around here. They just really haven't shot the ball well. The turnovers are up. They're just trying to get into their offense and trying to be efficient. They just can't seem to find a way. That should help a touch. Yeah, that was heck of a follow. Twenty-eight, fifteen. Dayton has led throughout. Nice little entry pass. And Kamara, no doubt about that. Well, the 
one thing you try to avoid when you come into this arena is letting the Dayton Flyers get emotional plays. That's what I call an emotional play there. There's been several of them here this evening in the first half, but you try to stay away from that, but there's a good knockdown shot there from Chris Childs, a senior. It's his first of four three-point field goal attempts to convert. Coming up on the three and a half minute mark remaining here in the first half. Dayton well in control of the scoreboard, but to use your phrase, hanging around is Lindenwood. From the left side, round the iron, into the glass, and into the hoop. Kobe Elvis. Burrell comes to Caldwell. What the heck for three? That one's long. Into the corner. Diagonal pass. Shot for three. That's off the side of the backboard. A little transition three on one. Bodies go sprawling across the court, but Burrell isn't bothered. He lays it in. Anthony Grant is not happy with the lack of what he thought was a foul call there. Right. Gets one at the other end, though. As Holmes drops in underneath. 2.40, the time remaining here in the opening half. It's opening night at its sold out University of Dayton Arena. The hometown Flyers, up a dozen. They've had a double digit lead for quite some time. You got a dog. Hi. Oh, what you got there? All right, go get it. When it comes to lasting relationships, we're thinking of every mile. The new Hyundai Tucson. It's your journey. It's big, it's back, and it's still $6. Get the big box y'all love today. Love that chicken from Popeyes. Dry cracked lips. Burt's Bees Lip Balm moisturizes for eight hours. Made with responsibly sourced beeswax for a difference you can feel. Swipe after swipe. Seriously good stuff from the naturally loved lip care brand, Burt's Bees. Did you know GoodRx can help you get a better price on your family's prescriptions? I just open the app, type in the name of our meds, that's it. Save us on my asthma medication. All right, round two, baby, round two. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> Savings on my husband's blood pressure refills. And savings on my daughter's allergy pills. Prescription savings for the whole family. Have a good one. Another good reason to check GoodRx. The game has never been better. That is hockey. Feels like a change is coming. Be sure to stay tuned. Coming up at halftime, Curtis Jackson and Mary Lee Melendez will run down the day's news headlines and the latest weather on the ones from Chief Meteorologist Eric Elwell, plus first half highlights and stats. So the Dayton Flyers have the advantage up a dozen. And we should mention they've had some injury problems and, and Malachi Smith, one of those who's in a walking boot right now and uh, no public declaration of when he might be back. Yeah, you know, uh, in the shoot around, he obviously was at the shoot around, but not not practicing because he was in the boot. But you got to remember now, he, he was a second team preseason all Atlantic 10 pick and a preseason all defensive team nice pick work. as well. So you know this young man can play and obviously they're going to have to try to get him healthy. It doesn't matter, I guess, these first two or three games, but surely when you get into December, in January and February, you need to have that young man on the floor. 
Six of ten from the free throw line. Make that seven of eleven for the Dayton Flyers. They're shooting 50% overall, 36% from the field. But Lindenworth is working with right now. Holmes gets the second. Four of five. Omsiel also has hit four of five. As I mentioned offensively, we're already down to 15 on the shot clock right now. There's a foul. That's not a probably the, the kind of foul that Anthony Grant would like to see right there with 20 on the shot clock. Back to 20 here on the on the foul call. Next University of Dayton basketball game on Spectrum News 1 comes up Saturday, November 19th. The Flyers host Robert Morris. That's at 1 o'clock. It'll be here on Spectrum News 1. Omseal takes a break. Yule is back in, working against Caldwell. On the baseline, back out top, right wing, shot for three, nothing. And we've got a shot clock violation because the ball didn't hit the iron. See, for Coach Kyle Gerdeman, those are the possessions that you can't have. You've got to be able to come up with a better look at the basket. Maybe not a three, something on the inside, but the way this defense is playing for Anthony Grant right now for the Flyers, boy, they're making it difficult to get anything up in the air. Lindenwood, 2 of 11 from three-point range. Good spacing offensively for the Flyers. They love that pick and roll, and then the strong pass on the inside. Holmes in a crowd. Couldn't quite get that one to drop. It sat on the rim and decided to go the other direction. So when you're playing the University of Dayton, you got to make, you got to pick your poison a little bit. Surely you like to take away on the inside because Holmes and the other big fellows on the inside can finish, and then on the perimeter you got some switching and. You know, some tough scenarios there defensively, so uh, they're just a tough matchup right now. Second miss from the free throw line. 145 to play here in the first half. Largest lead for the Flyers to this stage, 17. Now at 15, full court pressure. Lions just able to get the ball across in time. Used up about a third of the shot clock. This is one of their favorite sets right here, Horns. They get up to the top of the key. Trimble trying to get it to the basket. They're going to have an opportunity here to shoot a couple free throws, trying to cut into this lead a little bit. Still hanging around. Boy, the way we saw the start of this game, though, Dwight, we thought, you know, something crazy might happen. They were up 8 nothing. Everything was dunks and three-point shots. And, but let's give Lindenwood some credit here. They've settled in a little bit, trying to find their way offensively and defensively. It's going to be a challenge. Not only remaining of this half, but I'm sure in the second half as well. well. I think it's a great point because the way Dayton came out, hit their first three, uh, two three-pointers, and it's like, oh my gosh, they're on fire, and when was it going to calm down? And for Lindenwood's sake, it happened sooner than later. Trimble. Nope. Not on the second. Eight helpers for the Dayton Flyers. Ewell. Elvis. He's been on the ball a lot. Turn around. Nope. Not sure that was the shot that Dayton was looking for. You got to go quick. You're down to 10 on the shot clock here. You'll have the high ball screen. Child's going to have to try to make his way to the basket. Went high up off the glass. Couldn't get it to fall. Deflected away. 
and the shot clock violation. I actually thought that ball hit the rim and it would have been a reset, but uh, I don't know if that's something that's uh, reviewable or not, but I, I thought for sure that ball hit the rim. Yeah, I'm with you. About a three second difference, game and shot clock. The way it looks at the moment, the Flyers may be content to let some clock run. Child comes high out balls, again. High ball screens, White. That time, God, you get a turnover right there, but six to go here. See what the Lindenwood Lions can get. Nothing going there. Holmes with the block. He knows something about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think he set a single season record last year, didn't he? Yeah. He was something. At the buzzer. No, nope, will not count even if it goes. It doesn't. And we've reached the halfway point of this season opener. The capacity crowd at the University of Dayton Arena and Anthony Grant's team. A little bit of an uneven performance. Got off to a hot start, cooled down a bit, struggling with some free throw shooting, but still have a 14 point advantage over the Lions of Lindenwood. Stay tuned, halftime festivities coming up. We got a dog. Hi. Oh. What you got there? All right, go get it. When it comes to lasting relationships, we're thinking of every mile. The new Hyundai Tucson. It's your journey. It's big, it's back, and it's still $6. Get the big box y'all love today. Love that chicken from Popeye's. This Friday. The blood Forever. Reserve your tickets now. Ready PG-13. And deep breath in. Did you know that people everywhere are recommending GoodRx? My doctor told me about GoodRx to help us save money on our meds. And my daughter told me about it. I take a lot of prescriptions. GoodRx helps me keep up. My neighbor showed me the app. To help me save on my kids' allergy pills. Americans everywhere are sharing the savings. Uh, dropping off a prescription. Great. Another good reason to check GoodRx. Just a pea-sized amount of Lumi applied between your butt cheeks like this. I will demonstrate. Just kidding, I won't. Like this. We put Lumi to the test and compared it to a shower. 12 hours after a shower with soap and water, the average crotch has an odor score of five to six out of 10. 12 hours after a shower and applying Lumi, you're at a zero out of 10, no odor all day. I'm not a mathematician, but I think it means that Lumi is infinitely more effective than a shower alone. So just take a shower or shower with Lumi and be zero out of 10. Mom, I, uh, I got you something. If I could be, baby, where you are. Hi, Hi. If I could be, baby, where Distance you are. Distance means so little when a gift says so much. Etsy has it.
We got a dog. Hi. Oh, what you got there? Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Hurry in to get our best deals of the sky. Dibs, I got it first. When it comes to 90 days on select vehicles. Now, during the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. What makes Burt's Bees Sensitive Skin Care different? Our formula is crafted with calming aloe and soothing rice milk to help restore your skin's moisture barrier for stronger, less sensitive skin. Seriously good stuff. Burt's Bees. This Friday. Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Reserve your tickets now. Ready PG-13. Did you know you can save with GoodRx, even if you have insurance? You know, I thought my prescription was covered until it wasn't, but GoodRx helps with that. I work for myself, so I buy my own insurance, and I still check GoodRx. I'm on Medicare. I check GoodRx because it can beat my copay. Who wouldn't like that? Even if you have insurance, GoodRx can help you save. Okay, we'll see you next time. It's like jumping up and down. <laughs> I just couldn't be more grateful. Just a pea-sized amount of Lumi applied between your butt cheeks like this. I will demonstrate. Just kidding, I won't. Like this. We put Lumi to the test and compared it to a shower. 12 hours after a shower with soap and water, the average crotch has an odor score of five to six out of 10. 12 hours after a shower and applying Lumi, you're at a zero out of 10, no odor all day. I'm not a mathematician, but I think it means that Lumi is infinitely more effective than a shower alone. So just take a shower or shower with Lumi and be zero out of 10. Sports, I've seen it all. Well, I've seen as much. Other game. It's got rhythm, intensity, tempo. It's like good jazz. Now that the fam is reunited, it's time to celebrate our hometown heroes. Football may not always be perfect, but Bundesliga is football as it's meant to be. Fourth-ranked Flyers have a 14-point lead over the Lions of Lindenwood here at halftime. Let's say we take a look at the conference scoreboard brought to you by Skyline Chili. It's always Skyline time, and as you might imagine, throughout the country, almost everybody's playing tonight, opening night, you know. Um, but there's a look at what's happening around the Atlantic 10, LaSalle against Villanova. That's an exciting challenge. George Mason, number 15, Auburn, uh, just to pick a couple of those. So... Um, busy night for the Atlantic 10 as it is around much of the country. We'll continue with halftime festivities from the University of Dayton Arena as the Flyers hold down that 35-21 advantage. Kobe Elvis leading the way with 10 points. Deron Holmes has nine. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Hurry in to get our best deals of the long haul. We're thinking of every mile. The all-electric Hyundai Ionic 5. It's your journey. If a medicine is expensive, patients aren't going to buy it. If it's not affordable, it's staying at the pharmacy. So GoodRx is wonderful to help patients. It's definitely... People everywhere are recommending GoodRx. My doctor told me about GoodRx to help us. It's great for people like that, too, because I have, like, a high deductible insurance plan. And so, you know, paying $100 for a medication is ridiculous, even for a doctor. You know how our underarms aren't the only place we have odor? That's why I created Lumi. I'm Dr. Shannon Klingman, the founder of the world's...
Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Hurry in to get our best deals of the season. 90 days on select vehicles. Now, during the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Dry crack lips? Burt's Bees Lip Balm moisturizes for eight hours. Made with responsibly sourced beeswax. For a difference you can feel. Swipe after with responsibly sourced beeswax. For a difference you can feel. Swipe after swipe. Seriously good stuff from the naturally loved lip care brand, Burt's Bees. This Friday. Tickets now. Ready PG-13. Let's get real. Hims knows that getting help for anxiety can be hard. Because anxiety can feel like this. Or this. Or this. Feel familiar? Team, let's take a look at the first half highlights. They're brought to you by Tiger Joe's. Tiger Joe's fitness equipment. Everything you need for a great workout. Well, RJ Black, they got it all started there with the free. But boy, did the Flyers really get aggressive on the inside. Several dunks to get that first half started. Lions kind of hung in there, got some penetration, but the blocks and the aggressive high-low action of the Flyers almost too much to handle. A good look there on the outside, on the banker there. And there's Caldwell, we featured him in the start. He got himself in foul trouble early, but got it going there late in the first half. Just enough to hang around in the game. Speaking of hanging around, how about that from Kamara? All right, first half stats brought to you by Cincinnati area Toyota dealers. Toyota, let's go places. Anything in particular jump out at you? Well, I, I think when you look at the stats, you know, the rebounds are kind of hanging in there a little bit. Most of those are offensive rebounds for Dayton. The turnover numbers are down really for both teams. I think the one thing that we talked about early was just the inside presence. 16 of 35 points, the Dayton Flyers that manufactured have come inside the paint. A lot of them we saw on the highlight reel there, Dwight, a lot of dumps and a lot of easy baskets. But more importantly, I think their outside shooting was good. I mean, you want to try to be better, and everybody does, but from the three-point land, two for eight, probably not enough temps and probably not enough of a high percentage for Anthony Grant. We'll be back with the second half tip-off right after this quick pause. Flyers in the University of Dayton Arena up 35-21 on Lindenwood. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Hurry in to get our best deals of the season. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Hurry in to get our best deals of the season. Get in and get away. Get 0% APR financing plus zero payments for 90 days on select vehicles. Now, during the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. With responsibly sourced beeswax. For a difference you can feel. Swipe after. With responsibly sourced beeswax. For a difference you can feel. Swipe after swipe. Seriously good stuff from the naturally loved lip care brand, Bird's Bees. This Friday. It's now Ready PG-13. Just a pea-sized amount of Lumi applied between your butt cheeks like this. I will demonstrate. Just kidding, I won't. Like this. We put Lumi to the test and compared it to a shower. 12 hours after a shower with soap and water, the average crotch has an odor score of five to six out of 10. 12 hours after a shower and applying Lumi, you're at a zero out of 10, no odor all day. I'm not a mathematician, but I think it means that Lumi is infinitely more effective than a shower alone. So just take a shower or shower with Lumi and be zero out of 10. Did you know GoodRx can help you get a better price on your family's prescriptions? I just open the app, type in the name of our meds, that's it. Save us on my asthma medication. All right, round two, baby, round two. Oh, oh, yeah. Savings on my husband's blood pressure refills. And savings on my daughter's allergy pills. Prescription savings for the whole family. Have a good one. Another good reason to check GoodRx. Visit theheismanhouse.com to jump into a virtual staring contest.
this might be the most emotionally charged match of the modern era. So Black Girl Hockey Club is all about building a community within the community. A heart-pounding atmosphere. This is the loudest that has ever been here. Lindenwood, 35-21. Dayton shooting 48% from the field. So the opening 20, 32%. The Lions, and realistically, you look at that difference alone and you say, you know what, it could be a larger lead than yep. it is. Yep, no question, Dwight. And I think, more importantly, I really thought Dayton came out in the first half and they kind of established themselves from what they wanted to do at the offensive end, and that was to get the ball on the inside. Lindenwood, on the other hand, still trying to figure out offensively what can work and who to get the shots for. And that's going to be the challenge here for this young basketball team. Possession with the Lions. Caldwell brought the ball into the front court. Gets it back on the right wing into the corner. Penetration, reverse. Good start to the second half as Ware with the finish. Fires quickly into the front court. Holmes. Kamara, and he's called for the foul. And here comes that pressure. Not going to take long for Anthony Grant to put it on here to get this second half started. Going to try to wear this basketball team down a little bit. Burrell, Trimble in the lane, shot is rejected by Kamara. Just good timing here, just anticipating the shot. The only thing, if there's anything that could happen bad is try to keep the ball in play, but uh, shot clock went down low. Wow, nice move, Lou. nice move to the basket, Chris Childs. Good strength. Back to back buckets to start the second half for the visitors. Offensive foul in the Flyers' first possession. Open the game with consecutive three point conversions. And haven't had a luck from outside the arc other than that. Shot clock at 11. Ball stays with Dayton. These are the specialty plays that uh, every team works on. Try to improve as the season goes on on your out-of-bounds plays, your sideline out-of-bounds. Nice drive to the basket. Shot clock only at three now. Lindenwood feeling a little bit hard done. Three on the shot clock. See what the Flyers do here. You got to think we're trying to throw it up to the rim here. Try to get something quick. Holmes backs in, puts up the shot, it's blocked. But possession with Lindenwood, they go the other direction. Caldwell from where? 20 on the shot clock. 18 20 to play in regulation. Early second half, Trimble. Really hasn't gotten on track tonight, Trimble. Just a single point to his credit. And there's a foul on the Flyers. That's Childs. He's got the ability to kind of get himself to the basket. Got wrapped around there with the right arm. Going to have an opportunity here at the free throw line. And, uh, you know, Lions just kind of hanging in there right now, coming out here to start the second half with a little offensive momentum. Try to cut this lead to eight points. That's his third foul.
colorful outfits in the student section. You know, I think every coach here on opening night who's playing and probably tomorrow night and the rest of the week, probably for a couple of weeks as he converts the second one, they're still trying to figure out their team. It, it's early in the season. You, you, there's nothing that's completely answered at this point for any basketball team. So you're trying to figure it out, trying to see what you got to improve on. Holmes. Got a couple of rebounds. 11 points. Both teams stayed in their man-to-man -man defense the entire first half. And of course, two and a half minutes here in the second half. Shot clock getting low. Baseline is a good entry pass. But the right-handed dunk did not go. And quickly the other end, it's Blakeney with the move from left to right and the finish. Yeah, tough play at the other end there for the Lions. They had an opportunity here for an easy deuce there. Tried to get a little spectacular on the finish there, and it cost them at the other end. Quick deuce there for the Flyers. Well, you referenced the speed of the game earlier, and that was a perfect example. Mm -hmm. They're thinking they're scoring at one end. The next thing you know, it's in the hoop at the opposite. Shot for three. It's off the iron, deflected away. And I think they're going to get Amsil. Mustafa Amsil with the foul. And that's his third. A couple of flyers beginning to, to see some foul trouble. And again, we talked about how coaches are going to try to figure out. Nothing's settled in right now. Everybody's got their starting lineup per se, but uh, you're, you're still trying to work different combinations. But in this case, for Anthony Grant, it's going to try to force him and to find this combination there. Trimble had to call a timeout, couldn't get the ball in bounds. Still early in the second half, 16.50 remaining, and the Flyers are up 13 points. Fans of all shapes and sizes in a sold-out University of Dayton arena, and they're seeing their 24th-ranked Flyers with a comfortable lead. We got a dog. Hi. Oh, what you got there? All right, go get it. When it comes to lasting relationships, we're thinking of every mile. The new Hyundai Tucson. It's your journey. And it's still six dollars. Get the big box y'all love today. Love that chicken from Popeyes. Dry crack lips. Burt's Bees Lip Balm moisturizes for eight hours. Made with responsibly sourced beeswax for a difference you can feel. Swipe after swipe. Seriously good stuff from the naturally loved lip care brand, Burt's Bees. Did you know you can save with GoodRx even if you have insurance? You know, I thought my prescription was covered until it wasn't, but GoodRx helps with that. I work for myself, so I buy my own insurance. And I still check GoodRx. I'm on Medicare. I check GoodRx because it can beat my copay. Who wouldn't like that? Even if you have insurance, GoodRx can help you save. OK, we'll see you next time. Another good reason to check GoodRx. Time to steal Christmas. Stop that! Or Santa will get mad and beat you up. These bad men, they're all my naughty ones. And what do you do to the naughty ones? I give them a lump of coal. Give them their lumps. Santa Claus is coming to town. Violent Night, rated R. talked about earlier the fact that Lindenwood is making that transition from Division II to Division I, and, and part of the way they've infused this roster is to go the JUCO route. Well, Dwight, there's different ways that you can try to build your program. 
in the case here for Lindenwood, it probably makes sense. You're going to have to get some mature players who have some basketball experience as you enter into the Ohio Valley Conference. Uh, and you can see there's six players right there. I mean, the real thing that has really changed college basketball is the transfer portal. And, you know, it's just it's crazy in terms of what's going on. You have to look at your roster every morning when you wake up to make sure nobody left. It really is the wild, wild west. It sure is. Full court pressure. Lakeney working hard. Child's able to get the ball into the front court. He'll go to the left side. 15 on the shot clock. Once again, Dayton making the Lions work really, really hard for everything they get. On the baseline, shot actually hit the rim going up. Holmes gets the ball. Elvis. Shot for three, runs the iron, won't go. Holmes gets the rebound, puts the ball on the floor, turn around, little hook, and it catches front iron. And the foul is called. Well, he is always going to draw a lot of attention around the basket. That time on the second and third effort for Deron Holmes, he had about four black jerseys just surrounded him, trying to take away any kind of opportunity. But uh, he'll have an opportunity here to knock down a couple free throws. And this is something he's continued to work on, not only in the preseason, but the offseason as well. Missed that first one there. So he's going to have an opportunity here for the second one. A couple changes in the lineup for Lindenwood as well. To Ron Holmes here, an opportunity for that second one. Having a good night, 11 points. Missed that one right there, several rebounds. Childs doing a lot of the lion's share, if you will, of the ball handling and has really done a pretty good job considering the kinds of pressure he's faced. Cole from the parking lot can't get that one to drop. May have cracked the rim on the way down. Cross court. 15-40 remaining in regulation. Flyers up 13. Largest lead 17. Elvis, nope. Kamara off his fingertips. And we'll take a break. 15-32 remaining in the second half. The Dayton Flyers continue to lead the visiting Lions of Lindenwood. That advantage right now at 13. movement that inspires. Since I was little, I wanted to be a part of a team. Come here, buddy. Nice shots. I've played just about every sport there is growing up. My mom's been there for me through every season. We'll get him next time. Mostly to keep me fueled and cheer me on. Thanks, Mom. Love you. Love you, too. It took me a minute, but I finally found what I love. All thanks to her. You're always there for them, and we're always here for you. Food Lion, here for every moment. So? The new iPhone 14 Pro. It's amazing. Yep, the camera is incredible. And you'll get our best deal. Nice, but everyone should get it. Everyone can get it. Every new customer. And every existing customer. Every iPhone. Every iPhone. Every iPhone. Every, every iPhone. OK, my work here is done. Everyone gets the best deal on every iPhone. Best one yet. Everyone gets AT&T's best deals on every iPhone, including up to $800 off iPhone 14 Pro. Are you coming for my job? Oh my goodness, the holidays. We go all out with the lights. Food? We live for food. I love <laughs> Mama's dumplings. <laughs> we go through boxes of Hanukkah candles. Of course, smell like Likimaka for Christmas. We need to just be like flinging things into the cart. To not have to be an adult for a few hours. It makes you feel like you're part of something bigger in this huge world. That to me is everything.
Ohio, get ready to head to the polls with your personalized voter guide on the Spectrum News app. We have all the tools and resources you need to stay informed about the candidates, where they stand on the issues, and how and where you can vote in your community. Just scan the QR code and get ready to vote. Still Dwight, early just, in the second half. Let me just add one thing. We talked about the transition as you look at the coaching staff over there for Lindenwood. But one thing to remember now, they're going to play in the Ohio Valley Conference. They can play in that postseason tournament, but they're not eligible for the NCAA tournament until 2026, 27 season. So that's a little quirky little thing that the NCAA puts on you when you make that transition. That's a heck of a wait. Yep. 15, 20 to go. Trying to go the right side of the lane. Shot is blocked by Holmes. He's got a couple of those tonight. Quickly ahead. Baseline. Kamara! Well, those are those emotional plays there. Nice job pushing the ball up the floor to get that easy dunk from Kamara along the baseline right there. Wasn't anybody close to him. 15-point advantage, 17 has been the largest lead of the game for the Flyers. They've led throughout. That one won't go. Tipped up, deflected away. Grabbed and then lost. There's a good look at Kyle Gerdeman there. We had a nice chance to talk with him here this, this morning at the shoot-around. This fourth year there, obviously they've been Division II, now into that Division I rank, and uh, you know, he understands what he's in for. You know, he knows he's gonna have a tough schedule, he's gonna have to play. They were picked 10th in the Ohio Valley Conference, which was not unexpected. A new team comes in, there's only 10 teams, of course, and he was a 10th pick, but that shouldn't bother them at all. They're gonna continue to get better, and uh, you know, I think he's got this program on the right track. Well, they are on a mission, they have a plan, they need time. They do. You know, their president has gone on record by saying, you know, he wanted three things. He wanted one to kind of drive enrollment at the school, enhance some visibility, and of course, you know, try to increase uh, from a graduation standpoint the revenue stream for students there. So, you know, I think they've, they've got their ducks in order. It'll be a good challenge for them, though. Just part of the role that athletics plays at the college level. Right. Well, you can see in this group, they've got some pieces. Shot for three in traffic. It was the rebound, swatted away. Covered up by Blakeney. And he dribbles into the front court before yielding possession to Elvis. Holmes, back out to Elvis. Quickly rotated to Omsiel in the corner, right in front of the team bench. Three-point effort won't go. And Trimble. Elvis from behind taps the ball away. Well, they've probably been in danger zone most of the game, I think. But right now, this is uh, this little span right here at this 1337 mark. The next five minutes here will be important. But I love the energy that the Dayton Flyers have come out with, especially after that last time out. Boy, they seem like they got a little bit of pep in their step in terms of what they're trying to do at the defensive and the offensive end. Foul on the shot. And that call goes against Yule who just checked into the game. Trimble at the line. It's his third free throw. Being the excellent shooter that this young man is, you yeah. would think these would be kind of a no-brainer here, just knocking these down. But uh, he's got a background he's looking into the student section here at the University of Dayton. Yeah. Very clever. Yeah. Very clever. I don't think uh, he's ever shot into that. <laughs> Gets the second one to go. 41-27. 13 and a half to play. 20 on the shot clock. Elvis tries to go baseline, rotates back out, lob in, Holmes, little turnaround hook effort, and it's well short.
Well, they've had control of this one for most of the time, the Dayton Flyers, but there's still going to be plenty for Coach Grant to work oh, on with no this question. team. No question, Dwight. And I think, you know, more importantly, when you, when you think about what you're trying to achieve in a game like this and your exhibition game as you move forward, you're just you're trying to improve, trying to get better. I mean, we've always talked with Coach Grant. You know, he always talks about culture and trying to develop an identity. That's what he's trying to do here tonight as well. Ten of the shot clock. Um, seal, Little floater to the right of the basket. Nice pass by their own Holmes as well. That's one thing I think he's improved on. Holmes has is his passing ability, his interior passing especially, in terms of what he's trying to do to help other players get involved in the offense. Penetration, shot won't go. Yule right in front of the bench, shoots for three, won't go. Omsiel put back and he's fouled, misses the shot. Now there were better than 12,000 fans who were ready to jump to their feet <laughs> if that shot had dropped for Yule. There's no question who the fan favorite here is for this Dayton Flyer crowd and community, and that's that young man right there. Walk on, played at Alder High School, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, given a lot of energy boost to this basketball team. Changes from both teams. conversation going over there at midcourt. Kyle Gerdeman is asking for some kind of a, a review of something. It looks like the officials are going to agree to do that here. So Brady Yule, as you touched upon from Archbishop Alter High School and what a lineage there is between that Dayton, South Dayton school and the University of Dayton. You think about guys like Paxson, that's oh, yeah. a name that jumps out at you. Yeah. When I think of it, I think of Joe Petroselli as well, though, obviously. Joe Pa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, 12-21 remaining here in regulation. Dayton up by 17 at the arena over visiting Lindenwood. Flyers shooting 44% from the field. They've held the visitors to 28. there. All right, go get it. When it comes to lasting relationships, we're thinking of every mile. The new Hyundai Tucson. It's your journey. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Hurry in to get our best deals of the season. Get in and get away. Get 0% APR financing plus zero payments for 90 days on select vehicles. Now, during the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. back and it's still six dollars get the big box y'all love today love that chicken from Popeyes. <laughs> there's bad men with guns watching us are you gonna help us santa yeah trudy you're on my nice list it's time for some season's beatings this is not your typical mall santa who is he? What if he really is? There is no such thing. You know, I thought my prescription was covered until it wasn't, but GoodRx helps with that. I work for myself, so I buy my own insurance, and I still check GoodRx. I'm on Medicare. I check GoodRx because it can beat my copay. Who wouldn't like that? Even if you have insurance, GoodRx can help you save. Okay, we'll see you next time. Another good reason to check GoodRx. You know soccer can be long, too dramatic, well... Ridiculous, even for a doctor.
all-rookie team member Malachi Smith. And, of course, Deron Holmes, Rookie of the Year. Kobe Brea, Kamara, all recognized. Mm -hmm. So the officials took a pause. You had a chance to touch base with them about what they were checking. Right, what they would basically explain, Dwight, for the stoppage of play. They wanted to confirm that the foul was on Kevin Caldwell, number 11 for Lindenwood. And that was part of the review, and uh, they confirmed that it was the foul on. And that's his fourth foul, so that's big for this team right now. Having him not on the floor is, uh, makes it a little more difficult on the rest of the perimeter players. Turnover. The Flyers have now built their largest lead of the game. Kamara left open. He's going to take the three. Not this time. And Childs, who I think is really well for Lindenwood. He's been all over the place. He's handled the ball. He comes away with the miss. Yeah, he's done a little bit of everything for this team. He's uh, got a couple assists as well. A couple rebounds. Trying to do a little bit of everything for this team. But the... You know, when you're a senior and you're trying to figure it out, he's one of the junior college transfers we showed you out of Bronx, New York. He's just trying to find a way to help this team. And you know what, Dwight, when they go, they're going to leave Dayton, they're going to go back home, they're going to practice, and probably their next opponent, they're going to play really well because they're going to say, man, we learned a lesson there in, in Dayton, Ohio, because you're not going to face, you're talking about a top 25 team here in the Dayton Flyers. This is going to going to take you a different direction. So the teams you're going to play from here on out, besides Missouri and a couple other ones, this coach right here is going to have this team uh, in the hunt, at least in the Ohio Valley Conference. Oh, you make a great point. That's why they're here playing this That's one. That's right. Got a short shot clock here, headed down to five here. Going to have to get it up here. Looks like Elvis is going to get this shot. He's going to throw up a wild one. Does catch the rim. And Lindenwood with the rebound. Tracy into the front court. Trimble. And he's fouled underneath. It. Can't get the shot to go. Second foul on Kamara. Team's fifth. Good look at Anthony Grant. Control on the sidelines. Anthony in his sixth season here. 1987 graduate. University of Dayton as well from Miami, Florida. Brady Yule right. exits to a round of applause. Oh, yeah. That's your fan favorite. Uh, just just back to Anthony Grant, you know, when you, when you talk to him, it's kind of a, a mild manner, but, you know, he's a, he's a heated guy. I mean, he's intense. He, he understands what it is, coach at the University of Dayton, and the pressure that you're under at all times. On the court, off the court, handling the media, those are all the things that uh, you have to do when you're under that position, and I think he's handled it extremely well during his tenure here. Got it. 11 minutes to play. Seventeen point lead. Closing in on the midpoint of the second half. Amsil loses possession. Pull up for three, perhaps partially blocked. Back come the Flyers, a little harem scarum right now. Kamara working hard, nice bounce pass, and the fingertip roll. Well, KG. Control right there, Dwight, the ability to kind of hang in the air and still finish with the basket. Terrific move there. Childs works off the screen through the lane, set on the shot clock. Childs from the corner for three, nope. Ball batted up in the air, nearly collected by Ware, but off his hands and out of bounds it goes. We have substitutions for both teams. Caldwell's gonna make his way back on the floor at this point. 
If you're Coach Bergerman, you're just going to go ahead. You got four fouls, but uh, you got to play. You want to try to make a little bit of a, an effort, a little push right here if you're Lindenwood. Just kind of seeing what you can do here this next span, this four or five minutes. We've got an offensive foul. Will KG called there. Full court pressure. Caldwell does well to break it. 20 on the shot clock. Burrell. Shot for three. Oh, that's a nice touch. Yeah, little step back right there for Caldwell. Hadn't seen many of those clean looks here this evening versus Dayton, but he, he can do that. Those are the shots that he's going to get a quite a few of those all season long. Elvis dribbles right into trouble, has his pocket picked. Back come the Lions with a little burst of energy here. Ten on the shot clock. Caldwell won't go. Ball tapped up. Controlled by the Flyers. Blakeney in the lane. Gap opened up and he filled it. Trimble can't get that one to go. His tough shooting night continues. Blakeney's open. He'll shoot a three. Front iron. Back and forth we go. Yeah, the pace of this game has really picked up over the last couple yeah. of minutes. And it's not been beautiful basketball. Shot for three. Nope. Just one of their last 14 shots has been converted for Lindenwood. Pass it underneath, won't go, put back, still won't go. And now we have a whistle. Clock is paused, seven minutes, 40 seconds remaining in this one. And the Dayton Flyers have the lead. There's a timeout on the floor. We'll be back. Kia, movement that inspires. You spent your life carefully building a legacy. We'll be just as careful helping you happiest in most difficult times. People who know the most valuable things in life aren't things at all. This is our product. This is what we do. Six dollars. Get the big box y'all love today. Love that chicken from Popeyes. I love you. And deep breath in. Did you know that people everywhere are recommending GoodRx? My doctor told me about GoodRx to help us save money on our meds. And my daughter told me about it. I took a lot of prescriptions. At the pharmacy. So GoodRx is wonderful to help patients. It's definitely great for people who don't have insurance, but for people who do have insurance, like me. Prescription. Great. Another good reason to check GoodRx. Five, four, three, two, one. Level up. Level up. Ridiculous, even for a doctor. Five, four, three, two, one. Level up. 
level up, level up, level up, level up. All this on me so yummy, all this sauce so yummy. No, you want this yummy, yummy all in your tank. Back inside the University of Dayton Arena with tonight's game reset brought to you by Logan AC and Heat Services. For fast, friendly service, choose Logan AC and Heat Services. 47 points, certainly not lighting up the scoreboard tonight the way we thought they might in the early going, but balanced scoring, and they've done some good work defensively. At the end of the day, free throw shooting is still a challenge for the Flyers. Yeah, no question, Dwight. I think... You know, I think one player that I think, at least for Dayton, that I think has played really well, it was a stretch there in the first half where sophomore Kobe Elvis really did a nice job continuing to keep the consistency in the scoring column. I thought he did a good job, but uh, they've had pretty good balance. Uh, you know, fairly, I know we got seven minutes and 40 seconds to go, but fairly low scoring. Yeah. I mean, if you look across the country tonight, I just kind of checked some scores. There's a lot of 80s and 90s numbers going up, but... Uh, this one doesn't look like it might might get out of the 60s, maybe a, maybe the 70s if Dayton continues to play well. Now well, 7:40 to play, and Dayton has just 15 second half points. Well, KG can't get the second. Shooting just 60 percent from the free throw line tonight to Flyers, but 13.3 percent from three point range. They've only made two of 15, Dave, and those two were the first two shots of the right, game. Right, For three at the other end. Nope. Omsil wide open with the rebound. Long distance three. Count it. Well, right on point there. They finally got one to drop right there. Pretty good look at the basket, wide open. Got it to go down. Caldwell. Shot clock down to 10. 6.45 to play. Right side of the lane, shot, tough one, but it goes. Kamara. Um, see you. Blakeney drives to the hoop and gets fouled in the process. You know, Blakeney is known for his defensive prowess. He was uh, always usually draws a tough assignment, but I think offensively. I've seen some things here tonight versus last year and how he played offensively, but he's, he's really kind of improved his game a little bit in terms of explosiveness to the basket there. Well, the month of November was not good to Dayton a, a season ago. A win here tonight gets them off to a different start. You know, scheduling for college basketball coaches and their staff has become a a scientific process now in terms of who you want to play, when you want to play, and what tournament you're going to go to. Uh, they're going to make a trip to Vegas to play, and then they're in the Bahamas with the strong field teams there, the Flyers are. So, you know, they're going to, they're here in the month of November and December. They're going to get tested. How they respond is going to be really the key factor. Caldwell comes up short. Transition opportunity for the Dayton Flyers. Passing underneath, Holmes is tangled up. I think Burrell got him there, the senior out of Chicago. Had him wrapped up right in front of the official right there. Six team foul. Kamara gets the lob in. Good 
15 on the shot clock. Omsil nearly lost the dribble. Double teamed. Jumps up, diagonal pass, shot is up. Char jumps, gets the three. And he has the ability to stretch your defense, that's for sure. Family moved into Centerville, South Dayton suburb, and they feed him a lot. <laughs> Want to get some more meat on the bones. Well, here he comes, little chop off pass. The slam and the foul as Holmes with emphasis to the hoop. Folks, it doesn't get more pretty than this right here. A little drop off pocket pass and a strong finish. Holmes taking it. Another one more look right here. That's a freshman making that little dish for the finish. First in the nation a year ago in dunks for freshmen and sixth overall. You can see the history. Deron Holmes, 81. It's a nice number. That'll be a foul against Kamara, his third. You know, this young man going to the free throw line, David Ware, I had a chance to chat with him just briefly this morning. He went to Fork Union Military Academy. I don't know if people are familiar with that, but it's a, they had a coach. He just passed away a couple years, Fletcher Errett. I actually, when my days at Ohio State, recruited some of Fletcher Errett's players, and boy, it's tough down there. You really learn lessons. Well, they got out in a hurry on that break, did the Flyers. Caldwell picks up his fifth foul. And his night is done. And Blakeney goes to the free throw line. Mentioned the the frustrating start to last season for the Dayton Flyers. But you got to go to the A-10 season, too. Of their uh, four losses, three of them came by a total of four, four points. points. I saw yep. that little note there. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that, they, they got very, very competitive that last two-thirds of the season. I really liked the way they played. Uh, we talked about the A-10. It's, it's no joke. I mean, you, you got to be ready to play. I don't care who you're playing, you know, especially when you go on the road. You got to be ready to go. A theme that the team is using heading into this season is 10 toes yep. down. Yep. Described as being locked in. Well, I, lo I love the attitude. Of it. Like I said, they, they didn't accomplish what they wanted to last year. They had an outstanding year, but oh, boy. Turnover and the dunk from Blakeney. And Lindenwood calls a timeout. Celebration erupts. Well, yeah, the pressure just wearing on you right now if you're Lindenwood. Nice little pass there from Holmes to Blakeney for that finish right there. And we finally see that offensive explosion that we thought we might see given the way this game started. 64-33 as things have really, it's 11-0 run over the last minute 42, 17-2 run over the last 356. Dayton has hit four consecutive field goals. Now those numbers all add up to a heck of a run just kind of worn this team down a little bit. But that's what you want to do if you're Dayton. You're, you, you know, you've got, you know, eight to nine players, very athletic, well-conditioned players. You're going to try to wear people down if you can.
Down the right side of the lane, Kamar gets in with the body. Talking a little bit about Lindenwood and the evolution that they're going to have to go through to really be able to compete at this level. Well, take a page out of the Dayton Flyers book from a year ago. 163 of 175 starts returned. 90% of the total minutes played last season are back. The list goes on. Right. You could look. I saw that too, Dwight. That's, that's a good pickup there because all those numbers just kind of stick right out at you. And that, that tells you what he's got back. And, but again, you know, that what that relates to also is now the expectation level. People expect that you're going to have a great year. Yeah. There's one injury, a couple of guys banged up right now, so things can change too. But uh, I think Anthony Grant's got it on the right track right now. Got good personnel. They're well coached, well disciplined. We'll have a chance for a great season here in the University of Dayton. Omsil for three, gets it, and is fouled by Childs. And that'll take us to the under four timeout. Dayton in full control of this one at the arena. They have exploded here in the second half of, well, the second half to build a commanding lead, 67-34. We'll be back to see how this one finishes up right after this on Spectrum News 1. and it's still $6. Get the big box y'all love today. Love that chicken from Popeyes. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Hurry in to get our best deals of the season. Get in and get away. Get 0% APR financing plus zero payments for 90 days on select vehicles. Now, during the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. What makes Burt's Bees sensitive skincare different? Our formula is crafted with calming aloe and soothing rice milk to help restore your skin's moisture barrier for stronger, less sensitive skin. Seriously good stuff, Burt's Bees. I remember when I first started flying and we would experience turbulence, I would watch the flight attendants. If they're not nervous, then I'm not going to be nervous. Financially, I'm the flight attendant in that situation. The relief that comes over people once they know they've got a guide to help them through. I definitely feel privileged to be in that position. The game has never been better. That is hockey. Knicks, Nets, and Lakers Clippers, Wednesday on ESPN. Tonight's game reset brought to you by Logan AC and Heat Services, but we're going to hit the upcoming schedule first, which is brought to you by Miami Valley Honda dealers. See SMU at home, UNLV, Robert Morris, Wisconsin in the Bahamas. Anybody in the Bahamas is okay. Sure. And then after that trip, they come home for Western Michigan. Yep. Well, Southern Sorry. Methodist has a, a new first-year coach, so, you know, a lot of uh, preparation. And I think that's the other thing that I think Anthony Grant has done in terms of his preparation especially last year with a young group, trying to get them to understand how do you get ready to play games, especially when they start coming at you real fast. Mm -hmm. Foul is called. Mongolia Mike, as the Dayton Daily News has come to refer to him the most affectionate way. Such a great story. We've touched upon some of his background, but somehow got from Oregon to Ohio. How about that? <laughs> it's not on a direct flight. But he did end up a flyer. 
That's right. That's the most important part. That one's off of Om Seal. You know, he'll get uh, he'll get a little stronger, a little more physical as time goes on here. Get in that weight room a little bit, just like uh, that's one thing I noticed about Deron Holmes. He's got a lot stronger, a little more defined in terms of his upper body. Nice little entry pass in the lane. And Trimble with the finish. Pass deflected away. Good effort there by Wokeji to get the ball back. Yule's pass is deflected. Penetration move, hand off to Amseal. Little turnaround, hook, front iron and net. Amseal's had a pretty good game himself here. Got several players that have contributed, especially at the offensive end. He's in double digits now. Childs with the three-pointer at the other end. Really is balanced scoring for the Flyers. Holmes has 13 points. Blakeney 13. Left-handed effort no good, but there is a whistle and a foul with 217 to play. Kamara now 11 rebounds on the night. And you know, it kind of goes, comes quietly at you too, you know, mm -hmm. in terms of how he just accumulates those numbers. And like you said, Dwight, you look at the statue, you're like, wow. All of a sudden you got those kind of numbers. But like we talked about, I'm sure Anthony Grant's going to uh, Find some things to pick on him about tomorrow in practice and film session. I'm sure it's not going to be all pleasant. Really. No. You know, coaches aren't like that. They they like to make sure they know that uh, we know some things we need to work on and kind of get better at. Atticus Schuler has checked in, a freshman out of St. Francis de Sales, Westerville resident in suburban Columbus. There's room underneath. Oh, that's a nifty finish. Cole gets the bucket. Now it's a race to zeros on the clock. Ewell makes the baseline move, doesn't get the pass, circulates back out. Mokeji strong on the turnaround. And Cole with the rebound, quickly plays Tracy. 90 seconds remaining. More substitutions coming. 10 on the shot clock. Up off the glass, won't go. Put back is good. So Childs with the miss, Cole with the follow up. Foul on the reach in. Some balanced scoring for the Flyers. They got off to a slow start in the second half. We talked about that, but they have really turned it on. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, you, you learn a little bit about yourself as you get into these games now, especially these early season games and how you're going to execute offensively. But, mm -hmm. they, they found a way. I mean, and again, you remember how young they were last year. They played a lot of games. What, 35, I think, is the total number of games they played. You know, you learn a lot about each other, and you continue to get better, and you're going to have some ups and downs. It's a long basketball season. Unlike in football, you know, those first three non-conference games, you know, you're scared to death to lose any of them. I mean, there's going to be some ups and downs. It's not going to be one of those seasons where it's all pretty, but they're going to have an outstanding year of Dayton Flyers on. Clock inside the final minute. Baseline move. Cole with the junk dunk. Inside 40 seconds left.
Ten on the shot clock. Working on the dribble in the lane. And in and out goes the left-handed effort of Wokeji. Williams for Lindenwood. Back out to Williams. His three-point shot doesn't count. There is a foul called against the Flyers with 5.1 seconds remaining. Are we going to record? And that'll do it as the free throw is missed. And the Dayton Flyers wrap this one up. We'll have a chance to talk with Coach Grant here momentarily. An efficient night? What do you think? Yeah, I think so. I think they accomplished what they needed to get done tonight, Dwight. I think, you know, they were really concerned about how they were going to come out and try to get after a team that, you know, they knew they were probably not going to have a problem with. And how are you going to play efficiently against a team like that? I think is, is kind of the important part of it. And I think they got a lot out of it. And from the Lindenwood perspective, they probably got what they needed, a not pleasant lesson, but nonetheless, something they can grow out of. Yeah, and your team grows from this. I mean, you take a, a road trip and to a great environment, and, you know, that, that to me is the important part. We're going to learn some lessons. We're going to come back home to St. Charles, Missouri. We're going to get back to practice. And you got to learn from this, and I think they will. I think that's uh, kind of the mentality the coach Gerdeman has, and I think he's delivered that to his players as well. Coach Anthony Grant joining us. Coach, opening night, let's start there. There's nothing quite like it at the University of Dayton Arena. It's, it's, um, it's always, always moves me coming out on opening night to see the crowd. You know, it's, uh, it's a special feeling, you know, it's so many, so many of our, uh, of our fans, you know, just for decades, uh, there's a love affair with this program. So, you know, it's a great way to open the season to see this building electric, everybody excited. So, uh, yeah, that was a great, a great opening to the season. Coach, going into the game, just the last two or three days of preparation, what, in, in the back of your mind, what were your goals going into this game? Were there certain things you wanted to try to accomplish? Well, I mean, you know, the goal really was, was to have, you know, as many healthy bodies available today as we possibly could. You know, we, we've been limited with some injuries. Uh, so it was good to see the guys go out and get some extended minutes. I thought defensively we were really good at times today. Offensively, we were inconsistent. I thought we got good shots. We didn't make open shots today. We didn't finish some things with around the rim. But I think it's a product of just, you know, uh, the limited numbers we've had. This is probably the most consistent competitive play that we've had, you know, in, in, in at least a week or so. so. Yeah, I thought uh, there's a lot of things I think today that we can take away that were good, some things that we'll be able to show film on and learn from and get prepared for the next game. In balanced scoring, as you look at this, I know you haven't had a chance to see the final stats yet, but very balanced offensively. Well, that's, that's what we're capable of. I think we have, you know, on any given night, we have a variety of guys that can be our leading scorer. And, you know, I, I think uh, when I look across the stat sheet and I see, you know, five, six, seven guys in double figures, I think that's, that's what we uh, should be capable of doing on every given night. Coach, congratulations, and I thank you for your time. It. Thanks, Gus. All right. Appreciate it. That's Coach Anthony Grant joining us here to review this season. Opening flyer win, 73-46 is the final score. And uh, he was pretty much on target with what we thought was going to be the, the evaluation of tonight's game, and we're going to have a chance to talk more about that. But first, we're going to step aside and take a quick break as the Dayton Flyers have an outstanding opening night at the sold-out University of Dayton Arena and they are winners by a final score of 73-46. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Hurry in to get our best deals of the season. 
90 days on select vehicles. Now, during the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Long haul, we're thinking of every mile. The all-electric Hyundai Ioniq 5. It's your journey. Dry, cracked lips? Burt's Bees Lip Balm moisturizes for eight hours. Made with responsibly sourced beeswax. For a difference you can feel. Swipe after swipe. Seriously good stuff from the naturally loved lip care brand, Burt's Bees. Did you know you can save with GoodRx? Even if you have insurance? You know, I thought my prescription was covered until it wasn't, but GoodRx helps with that. I work for my... If a medicine is expensive, patients aren't gonna buy it. If it's not affordable, it's staying at the pharmacy. So GoodRx is wonderful to help patients. It's definitely great for people who don't have insurance, but for people who do have insurance, like me. I'm... Another good reason to check GoodRx. So, you know, paying $100 for a medication is ridiculous, even for a doctor. This is odor here. This is when you would take a shower at zero time. This is you after a shower. You're gonna have zero out of 10 odor at 12 hours. Three days later with Lumi, just for the sake of illustration, you're at like a two. Can you imagine where you would be after a shower? You're gonna have zero out of 10 odor at 12 hours. Three days later with Lumi, just for the sake of illustration, you're at like a two. Can you imagine where you would be after a shower? That is hockey. Welcome back inside the University of Dayton Arena where tonight the Flyers have defeated visiting Lindenwood 40, uh, 73 to 46. And uh, some good stuff, some stuff to work on, but Coach Grant seemed to be relatively pleased with his initial impression. Yeah, I think so, Dwight. I think more importantly, I think what he talked about is some of the things that he can try to get his players to understand that they need to improve on. I mean, that's what coaches are all thinking about early in the season. What can we improve on? How can we improve how we're playing efficiently both at the offensive end in the defensive end, but I think overall, uh, I think he's very pleased, and I think it's a happy locker room in there right now. All right, well, why don't we take a look at our play of the game. It's brought to you by Bob Ross Auto Group. Bob Ross Auto Group, Loop Road at 48 in Centerville. You're the boss with Ross. Well, a nice little pocket pass. Saw his teammate coming there for that strong finish. Looking at a real close-up look at it yeah. right there. So the play of the game goes to, well, who else? Mr. Holmes. Now the player of the game, and it's tonight's player of the game brought to you by Sinclair College. Boy, there was a lot of people to, to pick from, but ultimately Mr. Blakeney made the cut. Well, you know, again, a lot of guys were in double figures, but Black Blakeney for me really made a difference, and it was at the offensive end. He's been known for his defensive Ability always draws a tough assignment, but tonight he did a better job at the offensive end. If you look at his numbers, four for eight from the field, four for four from the free throw line, had a total of 13 points, a solid performance. And uh, the young man, Blackney, out of Baltimore, Maryland, got it done tonight. He did get it done. The Flyers got it done. A uh, great way to start this season. They've had some injuries. They were able to get into the bench as the game progressed. We talked about the balance scoring, uh, the free throw shooting. You know, there's there's some things there they're going to have to improve over the course of the season. But a lot more to like than be disappointed about, don't you think? I think so. And I think more importantly, when you look at that final stat sheet, the one number that sticks out in me, and we talked about it periodically during the game, was the amount of turnovers that they had in the past. They only had nine turnovers tonight. And I don't think any of them led to really easy baskets at the other end. But I think if there's a concern right now in Coach Grant's voice was the injury level yeah. that he's a little bit concerned about. And I think uh, every coach is concerned about that. But he's got a couple key players that are banged up right now. And he's hoping he can get those guys back on the floor and ready to go. Well, clearly his bench stepped up tonight. Mm -hmm. So that's got to make him feel at least a little bit good in the time it takes to get the guys back. Good stuff, Dave. Appreciate it. Great job, Brett. Tonight's final score, one final time, 73-46. Our next Penn's basketball game is Saturday, November 19th, when Dayton welcomes Robert Morris to UD Arena. Coverage begins at 1 o'clock, all right here on Spectrum News 1. For Dave Sicuti and the entire Spectrum News 1 crew, I'm Dwight Burgess saying good night from UD Arena in Dayton.
comes to the long haul, we're thinking of every mile. The all-electric Hyundai Ionic 5. It's your journey. It's big, it's back, and it's still $6. Get the big box y'all love today. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Did you know you can save with GoodRx, even if you have insurance? You know, I thought my prescription was covered until it wasn't, but GoodRx helps with that. I work for myself, so I buy my own insurance, and I still check GoodRx. I'm on Medicare. I check GoodRx because it can beat my copay. Who wouldn't like that? Even if you have insurance, GoodRx can help you save. Okay, we'll see you next time. Another good reason to check GoodRx. I got you something. If I could be, baby, where you are. <laughs> if I could be, <laughs> baby, where you are. Distance means so little when a gift says so much. Etsy has it. You know soccer can be long, too dramatic. Well, I'll give it up, Bundesliga. Football may not always be perfect, but Bundesliga is football as it's meant to be.